All right, Shalom, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor is due to Yahweh. Vashim, Yahweh Shai, Vashim, Rakakudash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the whole full leg. Nor is in the gospel, bro. I left another standard of Yahweh, Vashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Mr. Akio Mahalaya, coming back with another lesson. Uh, prophecy. Uh, it's a few things. Uh, not one definitive topic, but uh, to show you how uh, several things of prophecy according to the scriptures is coming to pass because I found this article with RT. I was doing some research on RT and um, I came across a few things with uh, Tehran, or Tehran or Iran. It says, uh, Netanyahu says, Tehran blames Israel for Netanyahu's plants attack and they're not going to let them obtain nuclear capability. And you also have this footage of Jake, of course, which we know these are George Soros riots, uh, GameStop, Foot Locker, and dozens of more looted in Minnesota following police shooting Dante Wright, which allegedly the chick cop, she thought she was tasing him, but she shot the nigga. But then again, you know, he was resisting arrest and so forth like that. And we're not saying that they didn't deliberately kill him because that's what Esau does. He's a murderer. But at the same time, man, Jake ain't innocent, man. You know, everybody protesting for this guy. But he's not innocent, you know, because they said dude had several warrants out, you know, sagging his pants. And then, you know, the nigga tried to run and got shot, you know, but that is the, the, the nature of this of this battle. But nonetheless, uh, through the spirit, all hell look like it's getting ready to break loose because this is the same time last year that that guy, George Floyd, got choked out by that cop. What's his name? Darren Chauvin. You know, he got choked out. And this is around the same time. I want to say give a month. Uh, take uh, a month or give or take a month or two so uh yeah man and um this is this is times we're living in uh what else is on here yep looting and clashes protests over 20 uh police shooting 20 old black man in brooklyn center minnesota turns violent and that's funny though because uh you notice how once that happened and all of a sudden riots pop out like overnight so due to spirit uh they say black lives matter or george soro funding we believe through the spirit that, you know, they get memos before this shit goes down. They have these crews on standby. And before you know it, all of a sudden, they're tearing up the cities. Like, I remember during the time of the George Floyd protest, which was mainly Edomites. That's how you know it was paid agitators, because uh, when we set up the camp, they was kind of going down the block from where we was prophesying at. And they walked through the park. And if you look at the license place, the license place were a lot of out-of-town plates from New York, Michigan, Oklahoma. You know, Missouri, Kansas, whatever you want to call it. They were from different places. So it made sense that these people were paid to do so, you know. But anyway, reading back, it says, next stop, the apocalypse. The Biden, it says, the bumbling Biden administration claims fame may be jump-starting World War III. And according to the scriptures, World War III is prophecy and it's to take place. All right. And it's. Hey, World War Three is going to be the total end of this society. It's going to be the total end of Esau's world. And we can't wait. All right, so I'm going to go into this article a little bit. It says here, since Biden's in a speakiest rise to power, the world has become littered with hot spots from the UK to China, where a major conflict could erupt at any time. It says the U.S. deep state, it says, is the U.S. deep state desperate to make up for four warless years? <laughs> okay, well... This man is continuing with war. That's the scriptures, man. All right. So, matter of fact, let's get a precept real quick. Get a uh, precept real quick, man. Bear with me. That's lucky. I'm at work, too. So, if you hear background noises, um, and I'm kind of phasing in and out because I'm actually at work I'm trying to do the show. But, you know, the spirit doesn't want me to do it. So, I'm like, I'm going to do it before, you know, the spirit. Uh, Why wow, the spirit is hot. That's another thing. When the spirit is hot, you know, you want to go ahead and get it in. You know, because that way your fresh ideas and so forth, the spirit flows without it being forced, you know. Continue. They are gathered. Uh, uh. Hold on, what the f Here, bam, Psalms. Yep, Psalms, this is the book of uh, Psalms 141. It says, deliver me, O Yahweh, from the evil men. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually, they are gathered together for war. Okay, that's Esau. You know? Hold on, bro. Real quick. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up.
Ó, oh, vai. Like it says here, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. They continually they gather together for war. It says continue. Alright, because Esau is the warmonger. Alright, he's a warmonger. And the scriptures back that up. The scriptures called them violent men. It says they have sharpened their tongues like a serpent's adders poisonous under their lips. You know, there's the doctrine of discovery, the false doctrine, you know, uh, the momo, the agenda. All those things are part of the doctrine. Alright, so going back into the article. It says here, coincidence or otherwise, and everybody knows Esau is a damn devil, all right? But it says, coincidence or otherwise, it says, the world feels like a much more dangerous place since Joe Biden formally entered the White House. And that's the truth, because as soon as he got here, wickedness just sprouted. Like, it was like wickedness that was festering. It's just like, he came out of the blue like a pimple, man. All of a sudden, momos are coming out more. All of a sudden, the kids, the gender wars, all this bullshit, man, it's been really ramping up since this motherfucker got in power, man, you know? And it says here, it says Joe Biden formally entered the White House on January 20th, but now at the Make America Great Again bumper sticker has been removed from the U.S. juggernaut. Early indicators to a point that a global joy wire riddled with dangerous standoffs and even full-blown hostilities that can spark the mother of all conflag uh, conflagrations, which is World War III. It says one of the most dangerous stops along a highway to possible oblivion is playing out right now on Russia's doorstep. And you notice that these are rumors, man, like the scriptures say rumors from year to year, rumors, the rumors to the rumors become true. And notice that you've been hearing a lot of talks about Russia lately, a lot of talks. It says from the average consumer of Western media junk food, the simmering standoff between the Ukraine and Russia they call it western junk food it says and russia has been reduced to side snack bites popularly sold to unsuspected consumers as russian aggression it says toss away the greasy bag however and the more discerning shopper will discover that moscow has in fact steadfastly supported the conditions for peace in Donbas, where a civil war has been ranging for seven years between pro-russian forces and kiev it says meanwhile the ukrainian president Zelensky, who has abandoned the minsk protocol in 2014 peace treaty while signing a decree on march 24th that practically places ukraine on a war footing with russia you see because it says ukraine's nato's fantasy is putting the suicide pill in disguise military action they're now lining themselves with russia so it's bible prophecy man but it says those aren't the only inconvenient truths the western media will rather its audience know not know nothing about and they're telling you how esau he's playing war games and how he's hiding it's a media blackout on a lot of information you know, like the border crisis, there's a lot of media blackouts on the shit that's going on. That's why it says here, the Western media would rather its audience know nothing about. Because they're, you know, they try to shoot stuff under the rug. But reading on, it says here, on April 6th, just days after Zelensky had a lengthy telephone conversation with U.S. President Joe Biden, in which the U.S. leader pledged America's unwavering support. It says Zelensky placed a call to NATO Secretary General Jen Stolberg in which he expressed Kiev's desire to become a card-carrying member of the U.S.-led military bloc. Just a coincidence, right? So they're basically telling you that, look, they're getting ready to go to war. World War III. All right? And that's Bible prophecy. And I'm not going to read the whole article. It's pretty long. I know Jake's attention span is short. But nonetheless, you know, let's read this again. Psalms 140 and 2 says, Which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually they're gathered together for war. All right, and that's Esau. Without a doubt. And this is the most high is really storing the pot of these nations, man, because according to Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, Gog and Magog, which is Russia, is going to ally with these smaller hermit nations. You're going to have NATO and the EU versus the, the Eastern Bloc, so to speak. But what's going to happen is that uh, America's allies are going to turn against it, according to Revelation, the 17th chapter. So they're going to do something stupid as usual, and they're going to come against uh, uh, Babylon, you know? Yep, so this is the book of uh, Jeremiah. Matter of fact, this is good 51 to 46. It's good also 49 or 14. It's good too. So let's start here. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah 49, and I'm going to start at 12. It says, For thus says the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was to not drink of the cup have surely drunk it. Right, that's us. We drunk the cup of slavery. It says here, And thou, 
he shall altogether, it says, not to drink the cup of the surely drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? So if we drunk of the cup, we'll make you think you ain't going to drink of the cup. It says, thou shall go not, un it says, thou shall not go unpunished, but thou shall surely drink of it. What is it talking about? The punishment, man. And you're seeing that play out on the earth in the form of these plagues. All right. This, this, uh, uh, this pandemic. All right. The economic, the, the economy wars. Uh, Esau is dying off. He's not populating at the, at, the, at the length that he once was. You know, it's a lot of Edomites that's catching hell right now. And that's just the beginning of it. Because your full hell is going to come in the form of captivity. And it says, For I have sworn by myself, says Yahweh, that Basra should become a desolation. All right? And that's you Edomites. And modern day Basra is really America, right? Because it's it's basically a dwelling place of the Edomites. They stole it. And you brothers should check out, um, it's a series, four-part series on HBO Max. It's called uh, Kill All Brutes. Y'all should watch that. It's pretty good. Me and the brother finished it up this weekend, actually, but it was pretty good. Shows you how much of a demon he really is. You see why the most I got to take this motherfucker down. But anyway, it says, For I have sworn by myself, said the Lord, that Basra should become a desolation, and a reproach, and a waste, and a curse, and all the cities, therefore, should be perpetual waste. Right? All the Edomite cities from the UK, from uh, Morocco, even though those are uh, Ishmaelites and different heathens over there, you got Morocco, you got uh, uh, Switzerland, New Zealand, you got all those Edomite strongholds that uh, the Most High is going to bring down. Okay, because it's going to be war and tension and raid riots in all these cities. Like right now, everybody is protesting that, that that young kid got shot by the cops, which he was, I mean, he was a nigga anyway, but still, you know, Jake don't see it that way. You know, Jake so quick to kill each other, but then somebody else shoot them. All of a sudden, you know, they, they're protesting. But it says, and I've heard a rumor from the Lord and the ambassador is sent to the heathen saying, gather ye together and come against her and rise up to battle. Okay. World War Three. And that's what you're reading. This is what we're reading about. Because look, it says the pending collapse of the rules based international order is an ex uh, existential threat to the United States. So. This place is having all types of problems, man. Because, like, once again, next stop, the apocalypse. <laughs> which the apocalypse just means to reveal. Unveiling. Okay, it means to unveil. Or pull back the, uh, or pull, or pull, to pull down, so to speak. And that's the Spirit Brothers uploading videos on, uh, the microchip. Under the skin detect, yep. Brothers are going in on that. That's prophecy, you know. But anyway, uh, reading on, it says, For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despise among men. Everybody is despising the so-called white man. All right? Even his own kind. And it says, And thy terribleness have to feed thee and the pride of thy heart. It says, And thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, which is talking about Esau, it says, That holdest the height of the hill. Right? Like, you remember that game called King of the Hill? Or Hill Deal? You know, you try to get to the top of the hill. And right now, the hill represents these governments, the world, the rulership. He's at the top of the pinnacle, so to speak. And it says, Thou holdest the height of the hill, and thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle. And I will bring thee down from thence, says the Lord. So the Most High is bringing you down in the form of these plagues. All right. And it says, Also, Edom should be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it should be astonished and shall hiss at the plagues thereof. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, says the Lord. No man should abide there, neither should a son of man dwell in it. Which is talking about uh, uh, America. All right. It says, But behold, he should come up like a lion from the sweating of Jordan against the habitation of the strong. But I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is he? And it says, Who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? Who is like me? And who would appoint me the time? And who is that shepherd that would stand before me? Right. Because who's going to stop Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai from making their moves? And he's going to send his son Yahweh Shai back to destroy the so called white man in his kingdom. And it says, so therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord, and he that have taken against Edom. It says in his purposes that he had purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock should draw them out, and surely he should make their habitations desolate with them, right? Because like we just read in an article up here, matter of fact, in the other one, let me find it again. Yup, it says here we were not allowed Iran to obtain nuclear capability. It says nothing, not a Jew says to Ram blames Israel for netting his plan as a plan attack. So you see, the so called Jew is stirring up a lot of tension in the world and it's coming back to bite him in the ass. All right, so anyway, reading just a little bit more, I'm gonna shut it down though. Actually, it's time for me to get out of here. 
But anyway, reading on, it says what Zelensky fails to understand is that Kiev is being played as a pawn in a perennial great game between the U.S. and Russia. It says the current battle is not over geographical conquest, but rather the access to Europe's <laughs> lucrative energy sector. It says Washington refuses to sit by idly as Moscow and Berlin put their final touches on the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline, which if fulfilled, will see natural gas supplies flowing from Russia to Germany without the highly unpredictable Ukrainian, Ukrainian middleman across the Baltic Sea. But it says Washington's determination to play the spoiler was made clear last month. And U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said on the sidelines of a meeting with NATO, Stoltenberg, that the pipeline is a contradictory to the EU's own security goals. So, it's a big mess, man. You know? Big mess. Let's go back. Uh, hold up. All right, so this is the book of Jeremiah 51. And I'm going to start it versus... Uh, this started verses 40. Let's start at 44. It says, And I will punish Bel and Babylon, and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he have swaddled up, and the nations shall not flow together anymore to him, and here the walls of Babylon shall fall. Right. America. It says, And my people go ye out of the midst of her, and deliver ye every man in his soul from the fierce of the anger of the Lord. And we're doing that by coming into this truth and escaping the ways of this of this kingdom. And it says, And my people, matter of fact, it says, unless your heart be faint and you fear for the rumor that should be heard in the land a rumor should both come one year and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land ruler against ruler so we've been hearing war 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 like a lot of times when we go into the scriptures your family always say well y'all always saying that we all been talking about world war three since the beginning of time yeah because those are rumors but eventually those rumors will become fact and that's what we're getting into because look, this is the book of Matthew 24 and I'm going to start at verses uh, 6. It says, and you should have wars and rumors of wars. Okay, let's so look up the word rumor in the Greek. Mm. Strong's G, 189, Aka, Aka. All right, and it means here the sense of hearing, the organ of hearing, the ear, the thing heard, instruction, namely oral, of preaching the gospel, hearsay, report, or rumor. Like you have some which is called the news report. So it says here you shall have wars and rumors of wars, but see that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earth famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. These are the beginning of sorrow. So we are in the beginning of these sorrows, brothers. All right. So, matter of fact, it says here, read it again. It says, unless your heart faint and you fear for the rumor that should be heard in the land, which is destruction. A rumor should both come one year and after that, in another year, should come a rumor and violence in the land ruler against ruler. So eventually after the rumors is going to be set because basically we're spreading true rumors, the prophets. It says, therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon and our whole land should be confounded and all her slain should fall in the midst of her. The heaven and the earth and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon, for the spoilers shall come unto her from the north, says the Lord. And as Babylon have caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall at the slain of all the earth. Oof. So, hey, man, this place is just going to go down, man. But anyway, with that, all praise and glory and honor to Jehovah Shai. With that, Shalom. Blah, blah, blah.